This goes on like silly string. Silly string, hey, how about that? <laughs> Hey folks, Memorial Day weekend's coming up here. We are stoked. We cannot wait to get out there for camping. Then vacation, we're heading east. We've got a lot of things coming up. Um, however, we would like to give you a t-shirt. There is one catch. If you can tell us the guy who has been the only person in one of our videos, I'll give you a few hints. He caught a fish. Um, it was last year about this time. And... Uh, that's going to be about it. So if you can actually find his name, we actually said it in the video, we watched it, email us that name to aframedaydream at gmail.com. You'll be submitted in for a drawing out of a hat for a free t-shirt. Other than that, we are going to end this kind of contest, we'll call it, uh, by July 4th. One other stipulation you got to be in the United States because we are sending it U.S. mail. Other than that, guys, we're going to let you get back to this video here. here we go. All right, guys, here's what we got going on. Mitzi's got an old rattle can. Oh, well, not old. It's brand new. Brand new rattle can. It's uh, full of uh, some adhesive. What we're doing is we're going to put some light fabric on the Reflectix. Uh, reason being is, is because... The Reflectix itself, you'll, you really don't want to have it just blasting into your window because that's, the sun's already doing that for itself. But being that... This goes on like silly string. Silly string, hey, how about that? That's what we like. So this is the uh, 3M adhesive. Got a small of it, so you gotta use it in a ventilated area for sure. But yeah, we were coating this with a white fabric because we'd rather have the white join to the window. So I'm gonna have to pause this to give her a hand. All right, well, I joined back here. She is going to do the fabric area, and then what we'll do is we'll bond these two together, and then we'll put some pressure on them. We're going to do some cutting to get the corners nice and adhered in. And then uh, after it's all said and done, we'll be able to put these in knowing that we're not going to back scorch our tinted windows in the camper so other than that guys this is one extra thing that I would recommend we've been kind of been told about some people either paint it or do something so all right well I'm gonna stop here we're gonna get that part bonded with that part all right we're making pie now we're actually making sure this is really crisp and adhered to the fabric really really good as long as she doesn't go over, nothing will get stuck to that rolling pin. We should be good. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! That was fun. But, uh, yeah, we're going to make sure this is here. Then we're going to cut the corners and everything on this to make sure we get good adhesion. Pull it down just there, just a titch. Go off here. There we go. You can tell that that stuff's already sticking good. It's pulling up the fabric. So the object is is now cut our corners, pull the fabric up, or we may just cut the corners. Yeah, we're gonna have to. That's kind of what come in. All right. Well, however you purify it. 
purify it. Whatever. Make it pretty on the edges. That is going to be your choice. I'm sure we're going to do something here to make it look a little bit better. In other words, we will check you guys in the next video. Thank you very much. So this is the side that looks out the window. And we're not completely finished. I'm going to finish off the edges in some fashion or another because we have a group of extra. Yep. Which was by design so that we would not make a big mess. Um, yeah, I like it. Yep, it will do what it needs to. It's better to have the light the versus shiny. that blasting into Less that window. I mean, the idea is insulation and keeping it dark in the house, but reckon bubble windows not as not as likely. So, I mean, this would be if you wanted to get real designer, you could put fun fabric on the inside. There's no real reason for us, but you never know. Your wife could get weird and Fun yeah, that's what happens when I go to work. So, right on. We'll see. All right. So here we are. We've already adhered this to the one side. I just want to make nice, tidy ends. So, here we go. Just cutting off the corner. Giving myself roughly an inch. I'm not being super, super picky. Kind of picky, but not super duper picky. Like, I'm going to trim this off first. So, sort of picky. Okay, now I'll cut the corner off. So, super, super, super simple. I'm gonna use a nice little hot glue gun here. And I'm gonna glue this over. Kinda squish it down a little bit. Uh, okay, I'm going to do that on two sides, just so we have a relative piece to work with here. And yep, it's warm. this way. Now what I'm shooting for here is I'm shooting for a really pretty tidy looking edge here. So it takes a second to get it to look nice but not a super long time. So it's basically making like a, a mitered corner if you, if you will. And using super high-tech Close pins to hold my stuff in place. And I'm gonna guess right about, yeah, right about here. Go back over to this side, kind of the same thing. Put myself like a corner. <clears throat> This way I don't have to sew it. I can just glue it. Just 
gives me kind of a tidier looking edge. And the fun part starts. It is weirdly like caulking. I mean, it's kind of the same idea. Sealing the edges off. I think it's nicely done. Looks pretty decent. It won't fray. Yep. And we get a lot less reflectivity off this side than we will off the shiny, which is the goal. All right, guys, so we yeah. will show you it installed in the next video and what it looks like on the outside. Alright guys, well, here is the window. Betsy's going to go ahead and get that thing put in. And of course I've got the door open here, so... Yeah. All right, let me pop outside and we'll show you what it looks like on the outside with the white on it. Guys, you cannot even tell that there is a shade in that window. And we had the, it brought up, it was probably best to uh, cover the Reflectix with something, either spray paint or some kind of a cloth. So we uh, went ahead with a cloth. Okay, guys, here it is with it installed. Yes, there is a little bit of light that seeps through, but that is okay. It is actually a lot better than that. So sleeping in in the morning, trying to cool down your camper, this is going to be a plus. It works. 